Hey guys, uh, here a little bit tricky this assembly to remove the panel to be able to deoxidize these uh, pots. You see those linear pots, they've been scratchy, now they would not. Now we would be able to assemble it back, but really not very convenient to work with. I didn't disconnect all connectors from the other end. Try like, to get it here, but it's it's way too many screws and not very convenient. Ever like these uh, knobs, you see. And to get to them, you have to disconnect those metal panel, and there are the screws on it. Wow, <laughs> our engineering. I would say. Okay, moving on. Tried one glue for this plastic, it didn't work. So thinking if I will not use this plastic and put some uh, connecting metal plates on top. Let me think more about it. See you soon, bye bye. Okay guys, and these pots are not scratch anymore. Even here. Good. Next, clean up everything and work on the plastic parts. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm still working on this deck. I replaced its capstan belt and I replaced it a uh, capacitor on the power circuit on the capstan motor now i've got 0 0.0 45 power flutter that's its perfect results and uh, what i mentioned i'm recording type 1 tape and this is a frequency response and it's tape plane and C minus 20, now minus 10, minus 6. You see, it's flat. That's why we all love these decks from 84, 80, 1984, 1986. They were just perfect. Only on zero decibel, we see a slope here. But on minus six is perfect. A rare, rare deck can do that, really. All right, moving on. See you, bye-bye. Hey guys, and here I ordered and received replacement part from Belgium. So, because I was not able to glue this kind of plastic, now I will, uh, reinstall this head shield into this door and then we'll store door back to the transport and let's see how how everything will work see you soon okay guys and here is a new door installed open smoothly now it's time to assemble start tuning measuring parameters I hope now power and flutter will be good, will not be jumping like crazy. Let me see. So there is no more problems I may see in this tape transport. Bell goes straight. No wobbling. Good. So, capacitor replaced as you may see. It should be good now. Let me connect and let's measure together. Hey guys. And here I just replaced the pinch rollers 
on this Nakamichi BX300 but to be able to pull up levers I had to remove the head block which sits on the springs and here is a quite interesting mechanism to install it back because we would not be able to push it and screw uh, right away so what Nakamichi did they made these uh, cuts on the stands here so how it works we put springs back and we have uh, spacers which has an even hole you see this narrows here now we have to push it down together with the spring and then make sure that it will sit tight on this cut okay I'm usually hold my hand around for the case if it will shoot because like, it would be pretty hard to find a replacement okay now the next one install it here like that they sit pretty well but still be careful right and now make sure that your head's installed properly you rotate it from the top sits it here collect all spacers install the screws i'm sorry it's, it's so teeny just a little bit hard because it's one is a groove and another is a spacer and pretty teeny screws and I don't see well I need my lens to do it properly so I will try to do my best to show you okay install and screw it in like that now I'm safe to release now I'm gonna use my two hands to assemble the other one screw and I am put it right here okay make sure that you will fix them well now uh, our spacer sits right there and now you see heads moves free nothing holds here as soon as i release spacer back you see head sit tight using the spring and same with the other one make sure that you release it well uh, heads will sit tight I believe this one not fully released. Let me see from the other side. Okay. Now check the head. Now it's fully tight. And you may check right there with the lens. Let me do that. Yeah, it should be fully tight. And now uh, these screws will, will work for you when you will be like uh, screw them down or up. The spring will help you operate with the heads. All right. Next, so the problem with the step transfers. So I had to like reassemble it third time. Uh, it gets to this position, but it's not fully gets to the up, upper position and don't apply enough force to the pinch rollers so from everything i learned we don't have enough force here on this gear so that's where i would disassemble it again and see what's what's getting wrong there we have i believe just two screws which hold this gear one is right here Okay, and the one from the 
the front. Right here. I'm sure I assembled everything correctly, but the force applied is not enough. That was, uh, you remember that the valve and flutter was going up and down, like, and I was not sure what's, what's up with it. So now let's remove and see. So technically, this part is push up the heads, and other part is for brakes. So, for example, for fast forward rewind, as you get here, pull pull up the brakes. We will be able fast forward and rewind, and like when we need play. It rotates further, and we need to pull up heads with this part. And this looks to be pretty okay. I don't see any issues here. I'm just not sure why it's don't pull them up. So here is the brakes lever. And we see it's right here. So this is the brakes. And that's the head carriage, which goes up and down. That's it. There's no more. Everything else is just fall fall down under its weight. You see, pretty simple mechanism. So very simple here. So. Let me see what's wrong. I will check everything, assemble, and let's see, it should perform well. See you in the next part, bye-bye. Okay guys, finally, both pinch rollers gets to the position every single time. And I, I measure tension, it's good. So, now I'm ready to Check wow and flutter what this guy will produce. See you in the moment. So the problem was I reassembled everything carefully one more time here with the gear, aligning everything, lubricating everything, and now it works. See you soon. Hey guys, and here I'm adjusted uh, speeds and measuring wow and flutter. And now I like what I see. 0 0.045 in average and the speed is very stable what i mentioned this drive uh, much more quicker adjusts the speed you see this and the frequency of adjustment about 40 gears you see the spike so that's where those changes happening but there is no spikes related to capstan rolling so you see this and it's pretty low, like, and they are not going up significantly. So the only one is on speed adjustment here, 40 gears. Good. All in all, it works now. Let's see how stable it is. Play it back again. 3,001 gears. Yeah. It's produced consistent results now. Very good. So now I will tune it up and complete assembly. And I have to still think how to fix it on the top here. Maybe I glue other parts, so like we'll see. There's a couple ideas. See you soon. Bye bye. And here I'm just testing frequency response and my Nakanichi tape. It's placed up to 20 kilohertz with zero drop. Okay, switch it to 400 again. Let me rewind a little bit. So 20 kilohertz, you see? And it's in level minus 10 decibel. Wow. Very good results. Still works nice and heads still perform, perform well. Okay, continue assembling. And here I'm tuning uh, levels, recording levels and bias. Now I'm using type 1 tape. 
And here is a frequency response on its source. And it's tape. Basically, no change. Plus one decibel on the high frequency. That's how I'm tuned. So right here, see, like half decibel. So source, tape. Good. And it's 15 kilohertz. Now we will tune up next tape types. I'm already tuning it recording azimuth, so you see everything nice and clean. Here, let's do type 2 tape. Switch into type 2 bias. Starting recording. Let's go to 400 gears. You see levels are different between left and right channel. This is what I need to adjust. And it's adjust right there. Those spots in the middle for type two tape. Okay, one channel. And the other channel. Done. Now adjusting bias on 15 kilohertz and it's right there. Source tape. Don't need to change anything. Good. We may see the chart. Type 2. Same nice and straight line. Let's check uh, minus 10. It skips. Well, minus 6. And it still keeps well, you see? And only on zero, we will have some drop, and it's pretty minimal. Really good results. And the last tape would be metal tape. TDK May. Switch into metal bias. You see levels are different as well, so let me see, 400 gears, let me adjust it. Hmm. For some reason I cannot do more on this channel, maybe bias is off. Okay, I will do them equal. Right. Uh, 15 kilohertz. Yeah, you see bias is off for this tape type. So let me adjust it. Okay, so source tape. And now let's see levels. I see levels increased. I'm sorry for my dog noise. I'm at the maximum. All right. And that's how it will look like now. Pretty, pretty good results for this age. Good. I would say it's done. Assembling and enjoying. Next steps. See you. Bye bye. Hey guys. And here are the final results. So I glued with glue for plastic models. Uh, then I used my heat gun. Uh, to heat them and like push them so they dissolved properly with the plastic and now it's it holds looks like well I will let it sit for a day and then we'll assemble see you bye bye hey guys and now this deck is fully assembled its place records pass forward rewind and everything works all mods, so looks beautiful. 
as you may see, front panel is in very good shape. From other side, it's in the okay shape. No significant scratches. 220 volt model, so I'm not sure if I would keep it, even if I have adapter. But let me know your thoughts. So you see, counter reset works. Fast forward. Rewind. Play. Levels all deoxidized. Dolby B, Dolby C, everything works. I check it, it records in pretty well. Bias tune and even pitch control. You see, this plays quicker or slower. Okay, that would be it about this deck. I will try to make uh, a sound quality video. I'm already checked uh, the recorded tape, metal tape. I recorded on this Nakamichi with my Sony 555. I would say Sony sounds better. Um, it's up to you. Like it's uh, lots of high frequencies. Everything is fine, but uh, I think Sony has uh, like this bold sound, which is very close to the original. And that's where I like it more. Thank you. See you and bye-bye.